Yo, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial. And today we're in MPC 2.0 showing you how to layer your drums. Now, if you've had an earlier version of MPC Studio, it's basically the same thing as far as how you layer and how you edit everything. But if you're new to the program, we're going to show you how to do it. So, let's begin. If you look at pad A1, you'll see I have a sound already loaded up. Now, when it comes to layering your drums, all you have to do, whether you're on MPC or excuse me, whether you're on Mac or PC, all you have to do is drag a sound from the bank, hold shift, and it'll let you layer up to four sounds on one pad. So let's show you how to do that now. I'm going to go to my browser and check out some sounds. All right, I like that 808 drum. So let me show you how to layer a second sound on a pad that already has one sound. Remember, click the sound, drag it, and hold the shift button. Notice that section turned red right under the first sample. So that means I can load the second sample. All right, now we have two samples loaded up. Let's load up three. All right, you see the third slot opened up now. So now I have three samples loaded. Let's go ahead and add a fourth one. All right, now although that doesn't sound the best, you pretty much get the picture. You can do the same thing with kick drums too. So let's go to pad A2 and layer that one as well. All right, I wanted to narrow down my search because I only want to layer kick drums on pad A2. Whoops, looks like we already have that sample loaded, so let's choose a new one. All right, there's one sample on pad A2. Let's add three more. Holding shift again. All right, now I have a really monster kick loaded on A2. But Let's say I want to go ahead and start stripping the layers back. I like what I've layered so far, but maybe I only want those first two drums instead of the last two drums. So all I have to do is go to Program Edit. All right, I'm going to get rid of the browser now because we don't need that. So notice the green around that pad, meaning pad A2 is selected. and if you look to my right, you'll see that the four layers are being shown. One, two, three, four. Now, all of these drums are layered on that pad, but if I want to strip back the bottom two layers, all I have to do is click on them and go to none. And if you look at the pad, you'll see they disappear from the pad too. And the same can be done with pad A1. All right. But then I can just go back through them and add the samples again if I want to layer them. So there are two ways to layer your samples. You can either do it the manual way with drag and drop, or let's say you have a drum kit loaded up. You can just go to program edit, scroll through on your MPC, whether it's the studio, the Ren, the X, yada, yada, yada. And then you could just scroll through to the layers you want and do it this way. And there you have it, guys. In part two of our uh, of our tutorial, we'll go ahead and show you all some advanced tricks to use with drum layering. But this is just for the basics so you know how to do it in the software. 
If you have any questions, don't forget to hit us up at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com. Also, tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe so we can keep giving you dope content. We'll see you next week. Peace.